Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omnus and today I will review the uh, the third, I think. Yeah, I will review the third studio album by the uh, well, what are they? Funk rock, alternative metal, new metal band, alt rock band, uh, Incubus. Um, if you don't agree with that, fuck you because Wikipedia says so. Wikipedia can be a lot of bullshit, but you know, I trust them for the most part, so there you go. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of distracted. Like, there's some fucking foam around my feet. feet. Fuck that shit. I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, just. I'm gonna throw this away. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, sorry for that. I can't add it, so I'm gonna leave it in. Fuck it. If you want to add it for me, then uh, well, come over and yeah, we can discuss it. But um, you know, enough with the chit chats. Uh, this is their third studio album. Like I said, this is requested by Strategy. And before I continue this review, uh, you know, you know, I'm gonna say this to Strato. Strato, try to ask an Incubus album next time because I'm open to review more of their stuff because they are getting better with each album uh, you know at the moment I, I, I believe after this and the next album they're gonna drop in quality so there you go um, but Strato if you are requesting more Incubus then try to, ask, try to ask it don't say their next album review because it sounds like the band themselves are requesting the album so your grammar or whatever you're commenting to me is absolutely retarded. At least that's how it looks to me. So try to, you know, try to actually ask it. Hey, Ominous, can you review the Incubus album? It's not that difficult. Try to work on that, mate. Appreciate it. There you go. Um, yeah, so Strato, you know, my boy, my boy. My youngling out there. Try to work on it. So there you go. Um, it's just kind of like a pet peeve to me. So there you go. Uh, we have 13 songs on there, uh, most of them are in the 3-4 minute range, actually all of them are, except for one song. One song is in the 2 minute mark, so there you go. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to talk about every track because I don't really care that much. Uh, Privilege was a good opening track, it was very promising to listen to, definitely one of my favorites because it did start out very strong and it did kind of have an ominous hook. Um, so it was very interesting to uh, listen to and to just check out for myself. So yeah, it was a, you know it was a privilege, no pun intended, or was it, to check out the song. Um, good opener. Yeah, it does leave me wanting more because it was you know produced pretty nicely and it just came in pretty smooth. So very nice opening track, one of my favorites for sure. Nowhere fast is an amazing song, four and a half minutes long. Uh, yeah, 4 four thirty, almost 4.20. Um, yeah, the song is just fantastic. A, a lot of like great production on the song. Um, a lot of pretty good production on this album in general. Really consistent, fast-paced licks by the band. Some DJ scratching by DJ Kilmore, which is kind of a retarded name, but it does work, so there you go. It makes the band unique. Um, yeah, a lot of the crunchy verse were really good, the vocals didn't really annoy me by Brandon Boyd, who is getting better. He actually plays vocals, or plays, he actually does the vocals and he plays percussion, which is kind of interesting. So he has like, a, kind of a walking bongo, I suppose, or however those things are called. Like, um, it's trombone or something, that's percussion, I think, so. Do it our chill, maybe he does that, you know, good for him. Um, yeah, great track, this is easily my favorite track of the album, or is it? Um, ooh, um, no, it's my second favorite, but it's really close though. It's a really great track, really great production on it, really great in general, just a lovely song. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get to this consistent quality, because then we get Consequence, which is kind of a fuck all song. Um, yeah, this kind of destroys the momentum for this album, I think, because I thought after the first two songs I was loving the album, and then this song came in and it just kind of disappointed me with you know the traditional fungus among us and kind of a little bit of science in there, which I was not a huge fan of this album, so there you go. 
Yeah, this uh, this is kind of disappoint disappointing uh, song for me. It was pretty disappointing, so that's why it's pretty much my least favorite of the album because it just kind of left me cold. Uh, ironically, the warmth didn't really do much for me either. Kind of li left me cold too. Although, would it be one of my least favorites though? Um, well, is it? Um, well, it's not my least favorite of the album, but it did leave me on a pretty underwhelming cold note, so there you go. Then we have When It Comes, which is uh, 320, or it's uh, 4 minutes long, no, the next one is 320. Uh, when It Comes was a decent return to form, it kind of goes back to the first two songs which are like, uh, not anything really particularly special about this track, it just kind of, you know, played and it just kind of went on, so. Good track, but nothing special. Then we got Stellar, which is... Um, is Stellar a Stellar track? Well, there are some really great Stellar moments on the song, but I wouldn't really call it a Stellar song in general. It's kind of like, kind of how the song is placed on the album. It's kind of middle of the road for me. There are some really good moments on the song, primarily at the beginning and a little bit at the ending, but for the most part, it's pretty inconsistent and not very uh, tasty, tasteful in my ears. It's it's not per se tasteless, but it is kind of drab, I would say, so kind of eh. Uh, then we have Make Yourself, which is a pretty hectic track, three minutes long. It um, it didn't really do much for me. This is the centerpiece of, of the record, Stellar and Make Yourself. Yeah, Make Yourself was a decent uh, song, album, I would say, in general. But it's not really a great title track. You know, if you have a title track, then it has to be great, I think. Uh, I did review, yeah, the, the last? Was it the last? Yeah, I believe the last review that I did was Radio As The Band, which is, you know, of course, a way super, superior band, so no question there. Um, but, you know, they had a title track, which, yeah, it was not my favorite, but it did, it's like my fifth favorite song in the album. So it was still a great track, but it was not my favorite. That is an exception, I guess. But most of the time, your title track has to be pretty stellar, and this one was kind of eh for me. So, you know, the, the radio at the band song was pretty great, though, but it was not like um, one of my four favorites, I would say. So, there you go. Uh, then we have Drive, which is a pretty neat driving song. Um, I just drove myself against the wall, fuck no. Uh, Drive is good. Yeah, it's a pretty nice song, I would say. Uh, is it one of my favorites? Um, well, is it? Um, yeah, yeah, I would say so. It's a pretty nice driving song. It's pretty. The production is pretty stellar. Uh, you can drive to the song, so it's pretty ideal for if you have a bike or a car. You know, car, ideally, of course. But bike works too, or you know, traffic, or you know public transport I would say. It works in either way, but driving of course a car is like or motorcycles like ideal for the song. So uh, there you go. Really great driving song. Uh, it's pretty much my fourth favorite song in the album, so do it what you will. Uh, <clears throat> then we get clean. Kind of cleaning my throat right now. <coughs> Fuck no. Uh, I'm not not doing this like intentionally, like it's very subtle. So <laughs> do it what you will. Um, clean yeah, it's a pretty safe sounding song, didn't really do too much for me. I think that the band really played it very clean and very safe on the song, which I do like to hear in Incubus like that. But at the same time, they are pretty hectic and they are pretty unpredictable. So this song kind of, you know, they kind of shoot themselves in the foot here because they are trying to mix it up. But the fans know them as this hectic new metal clusterfuck kind of bands, which I'm not a huge fan of, but they are, they, you know, that's what they are. And they kind of try to differentiate themselves with the song, but it's not really working for me too much because it doesn't really sound like Incubus, but it is more to my liking, so I'm pretty mixed on it though. It is a band that tries to be different, but, you know, it's out of their comfort zone, they're not doing it as well as their main shit, so... I'm kind of mixed on it, you know, I do, I do prefer the sound, but it's not Incubus, that's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, now we have Battlestar, 
another one of these retarded titles, Battlestar. I'm joking on a fucking dick right there. Battlestar. Scra. Lock. Uh, Battlestar Squalactica, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it again. Retarded title, um, yeah, the song is gimmicky as hell. I didn't really enjoy the lyrical content of the song. The title's retarded. Uh, the song is nonsensical to me. Vocals are dumb. Uh, production is okay, on this entire record is pretty decent, but the lyrics and the song title just god awful i kind of hate this song honestly um yeah this song and consequence are my least favorite because consequence consequence broke the streak for me and this song is just utter shit so there you go then we have i miss you which is an amazing bjork song but it's not that good of an incubus song listen to the bjork song i miss you great song watch the music video if you want you know, way better artists in general, so just go listen to her, but you know, we're talking about Incubus here. Uh, Ink, yeah, or Incubus in general. Um, I miss you, yeah, you know, whenever I say the title of the song and I look at it, I'm just like, I want to listen to the Bjork song. Fucking hell, I don't want to listen to the shit, so. <laughs> so it's not one of my least favorite, but it just has the disadvantage, disadvantage of having the same title as a really great song, so that's really the only... <laughs> Criticism I have against the song. It's it's a decent song, but you know There's a way better song with the same title. So there you go Yeah, I'm actually going with that fucking guys um, Yeah, the 12 song is part of me, which is an amazing song I actually really love the song and I was I was kind of like oh is nowhere fast the best one and I was considering nowhere fast or pardon me as my favorite song a lot of great acoustic kind of sounds on the song we have a lot of like really interesting like DJ scratching on the song, really interesting. It is like pretty in your face, but it doesn't annoy me. Although it's, you know, it does kind of go on for a little bit too much. But I don't think I've ever heard a perfect Incubus song in my life. But this, this song comes pretty close to perfection. I would probably give this song a low, like, like a strong A to a light 9, like a B plus A minus. It's a really great song, really love it. Yeah, production is great, the song doesn't go on for too long, 3 minutes 42 seconds, pretty much the perfect length, so yeah, great song, I love it, favorite song of y'all. Uh, and then we got Out From Under, which is kind of in the same vein as Part Of Me, the band probably heard Part Of Me and they were like, oh, this is this sounds really good, might as well try to replicate it, replicate it again. But the only problem with the song is that it, it's shorter, but it feels like it goes on for way longer, because... It just kind of sounds like a carbon copy of part of me, uh, but there are some really like noisy DJ scratches on this song. You know, I didn't mind it on part of me because it was like toned down a little bit. It was kind of like well balanced, I would say. And on this song, they really go all out, and there are some uh, noises on there that are really like painstakingly like throw your headphones away, awful. I really hate some of the sounds on the song. Outside of that, it's like a part of me part two, so I don't really mind it that much, but it is pretty unoriginal because it's pretty much a part two part of me, which, you know, is a great song, but I don't really need a part two, I would say, because even that song kind of dragged on at the ending. Um, and this song has some really, really noisy layering production on, uh, on here, on the DJ scratches and on like, some like really fucky studio production, I would say. So this final track is for the majority good, but it is an original and there are some really bad uh, production techniques on, on this final song, which I would alter, but uh, maybe there's a remaster out there that fixed this problem, probably not, but there you go. Um, yeah, that's my opinion on the third studio album, Incubus. It's, yeah, it's way better than Fungus and Science. Um, I was kind of like, oh, Science is like their first good album, but even that album was kind of mediocre. And yeah, this album is way better. I do really love the the opening, the the beginning of this album, the, yeah, kind of like the middle section, like the middle section slash, like, uh, how do you say that? Like three quarter in, yeah, quarter a quarter third into this record, I do really love that too. 
I do really love the quarter third and like the ending of the album and the opening is really good. So um, I think that the middle side of the album is kind of fluff. And you know, Consequence is bad, Battlestar Scralactica, Scralactica, terrible track. Uh, so kind of like the middle slash quarter third of the album is pretty like subpar and some of the middle songs are pretty mad. But outside of that, like the rest of the album is pretty good. So it's kind of a mixed bag for me. There's some really good stuff on this album and there's some really like disposable throwaway garbage kind of stuff on there. So it's kind of, you know, it does leave on a good note because the, the, the good outweighs the bad of this album and the bad isn't that bad. It's just like, it could have been better. Uh, so I'm going to give this album a 7.5. It is a good album. It is... Definitely the best Incubus album I've heard so far, so the band for me is only going up at this point. So I believe that their next album um, is their best one because it's rated 4.5 by uh, All Music and the users. And it has the most votes on All Music, so yeah, I think that this Morning View album is like their best album. It looks like the best album cover too, you know, with the ocean and shit, it's all big by All Music, so... Morning View looks like the best album, so maybe I will love that album, I don't know. Um, but I will only review that album if Strato actually, you know, is asking it properly. So, uh, cross your fingers for Strato to actually pronounce his shit right, and I will probably do it, because why not? If anyone gives a shit about Incubus, I personally don't really care for this band, so there you go. But I don't really have anything else to do, so or anything else to review rather, so I might as well do them. Uh, yes, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you thought about the album in the comments down below. I've been on this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, of course, to the channel for videos like this one. Uh, let me know what you think about this band, about this album. Um, would you like to see more of them? Um, I probably am gonna review a couple more albums by them, but then I'm probably gonna drop them, so fuck it. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one and peace.